My name is Delisha Comfort Kokwe. I'm from the U.S., originally from uh, Liberia. And uh, I came to the Kakani Ministries because of my lower back pain and also um, ratchets on my right legs for the past seven years that I haven't been healed. This is my medical report from Piedmont uh, Medical Center. We are looking at this medical report from Piedmont Primary Care of Snaville, that's in USA. It's a medical report for Lady Delicia Comfort. They took x-rays of her lumbar spine for she has had this complaint of pain in the lower back. Therefore, upon examining her, they noted that she has got mouth level degenerative changes with mouth level end blood changes. First of all, they noted she has got grade one anterostasis, that is slippage of L4 on L5. They noted she has got disc height loss and significant facet arthropathy at L5S1. This is the combination that is causing her severe pain in this back. And this is being confirmed by the authorizing provider, Dr. Miles Sharpe, and also the reading physician, Dr. Sarat Piduru, both doctors of medicine in the USA. Now, Lady Delicia has got so much pain. Look at the agony she has. She wears this lumbar corset for support because the pain in her lower back is so severe, radiating to the hips and to the legs. And now she has come to meet the healer. Okay. We find the friends of faith. Oh, oh, we are a sorrow share. Huh? Jesus knows our every way. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Behold the touch of God's power upon the Delisha. The mighty name Jesus Christ. Be healed. Brethren, see what is happening in the life of this lady. Devil out. Lose your grip. You evil one. Lose your grip. Woman, you are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And now she's rising up. Her life will never be the same again. Time to walk freely. Hallelujah. Look at the smile. She's now removing the lumbar corset. Glory, glory be to Jesus Christ. He has done it for her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm feeling well. I'm healed, I'm healed. Clap, I'm clap healed. for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah. She's Thank healed. you, my Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you. My name is Delisha Comfort Kukwe. Just now, I just received my healing. And I just want to thank the Almighty God for healing me. I just feel the touch of the Holy Ghost upon me. I have felt within myself that Jesus has healed me through his prophet, Prophet Kekande. Okay, what really happened to Mama? People want to know. When I was standing in front of him, I just experienced the power of God. I felt relief. Hey, hey. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. I was sick, you healed me. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. Thank you, Lord. 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 The Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Delicia Comfort from USA all through the prayers of the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she came back to testify a new creature in Jesus' name. My name is Delisha Comfort uh, Kwekwe. And I have been having this pain for the last seven years. This pain started when I went to church on my way from church, I fell. I fell so badly that I even uh, split my pinky finger. 
and uh, I twisted my leg, my feet. So I was thinking, I decided to go to the hospital and uh, my doctor did send me, my doctor sent me to the uh, therapy and the therapy, uh, first of all, I, the doctor gave me some medication, some narcotic drugs, uh, some spasiums, knee spasiums, leg spasiums, and also an injection in my leg. And this was so painful, and the next time when I went over to my doctor, she said, well, I will have to order that you go to see the uh, therapy. I went to the therapy, and I was doing therapy for a couple of months, like six months. And when I left, my doctor said I was feeling much better, but I was still having some pains. So I decided to sign up to go to the gym. So I started going to the gym, exercising for a year. But I noticed that uh, my pain kept on increasing. So I said, you know what? I will have to continue to seek the face of God as I always do. And I will ask God, it's only him that is going to heal me now. So I started. The medication I was taking, I was tired taking it because it had me drowsy. I couldn't do anything much. So I said, but what's the need of me keep on taking it? So I stopped taking uh, prescriptions uh, from the doctor's office. So usually when I go this time, I would ask them to either give me injection or patches. So I was living with that, the injections and the patches. And then, when I looked, things were just getting worse. The pain was in the lower back, coming down my legs. And uh, so the doctor prescribed, as I said uh, previously, some medication and patches. And then I told them that they didn't want to take no more medication. And then I got the corset, and uh, I started using it with some patches. So one day while I was sitting down, I saw Prophet Kakande's ministries. And then when I opened it, I saw his ministries, how people have been healed. And then I said to myself, you know, I kept on washing it, washing it, washing it. And then I decided to be a part of his YouTube uh, team. So when I came here on Wednesday, I came and I registered, and I was privileged to also be on the prayer line. So when I got on the prayer line, and uh, Prophet Kakane, he didn't even touch me. He came and he started demonstrating with his prayers, and I felt. And that's when I knew that the power of God has taken charge of my healing. So in short, immediately, just five seconds, I was feeling there was no bike pain. <laughs> and some of the things I couldn't do. You see me in high heels today? <laughs> Jesus. I couldn't walk in high heels. It has been, it's even strange to me. It's even strange to me walking in high heels. Because since I haven't done it in a long time, you know, it's just strange to me. You know, because most of the time I will wear something flat. However, I work in the medical field. I couldn't even go to the office to even work. I had to transfer at home to work from home and do the administrative part of it. So this pain has done so many things. Even the ladies that I had, you know, that I usually meet with, we had to transfer from meeting uh, in person to online meetings. I want to first of all give honor to Yahweh. I want to give him honor because he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the God that never fails. He's the same God. Tomorrow and forever he will.
will be remain. What can I do with this? Nothing. I even left. I forgot about it this morning. I even forgot about it. So once I'm healed, you know, I, I cannot use it. <laughs> When I tried to wake up in the morning, it was difficult for me to wake up in the morning. I mean, when I wake up, I'm like, <clears throat> I have to sit down at the edge of the bed, and I always thank God. God, thank you for allowing me to work from home. Because what time would I have 7 o'clock together to go to work? Or maybe 5.30, you know? So it takes a lot of time. So I would get up like this. <sighs> Woo! And then I would do some exercises. <laughs> I would do some exercises, you know, to be able to put less strength in me. And, but now, <laughs> for the people in America, I want to just encourage you. First of all, because people see these things and they think it is fake. But you see Delisha standing here. So you know it's not fake. So you're going to see me daily. So you, I want you to be encouraged that God is still healing. God is still using prophets. He's still using people at this time. So don't, don't see that there is no true man of God. Know that you can come to this ministry that I gave you assurance. I don't know about any other one, but for the Kakane Ministries, I gave you assurance that when you come here with your wedding heart, God is going to heal you. God is going to deliver you. God is going to do what he says in his word that he's going to do. So let me encourage the people in America, you need to trust God, and you need to have faith and know that God is only God that is going to do it. Amen. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, the wonderful healer. Let us give him praise. Thank you, Lord. 